Hey everybody, welcome back to the game. It is Dracula's turn. And we start by advancing the uh, timer here to midnight. I'm thinking about uh, attempting some combat here, but this is Dracula's current location. All of the hunters are some distance away, so moving one space at a time how can I get to Mina? I think I'm going to try to zero in on her. She's over here kind of by herself. And if anything goes wrong, I might have some space to retreat down into this area. I'm going to try to go after her. So as part of my movement, I'm going to uh, use this card. It is nighttime now. This is the wolf form card. You can see the nighttime uh, symbol here. It costs one uh, blood from Count Dracula, so I'm going to remove one of these from his uh, page. That will take him down to 14. But what this does is it allows me to turn into a wolf and make two moves. So, Dracula is going to move to Vienna and then up here to Prague and we're gonna stop in the same place as Mina and that's gonna start a combat. Attacking Mina will reveal Dracula. Everybody knows he's in Prague now. And the combat shall begin. Combat is played out using these combat cards and we've chosen a particular tactic here for Dracula. He's going to use his fangs. It says you cannot play this card if you took damage during the last round. And if you get a bite result, combat ends and Dracula escapes per the escape bat card. But we're going to choose this one. Now, we don't know what uh, Mina is going to choose. I'm going to take her combat cards here, her items and her three standard cards she began with. I'm going to shuffle them up and randomly choose one of these. That's just the way we're going to do it since we're playing this uh, solo. And it's just part of the deal. So what did she do? She tried to use her pistol in combat against Dracula. So now what we need to do is, is roll the dice and take a look at the results. Uh, we have the white die for the hunters, the black die for Dracula. One thing that needs to be taken into consideration here are any modifiers. Let's see if there's anything to consider. Here you can see the hunter modifiers. Uh, the hunter chose pistol card this round of combat. Interesting. The hunter chose a pistol card this round of combat. So that gives them a plus one on their attack roll. Yep. Plus one on the attack roll. Interesting, I had forgotten that. Dracula modifiers. Dracula has bitten a hunter other than Mina Harker. And, uh, okay. Trap. We could play trap. We could play trap right now. Why don't we do that? That's going to give uh, Dracula an opportunity to get a plus one. That was a card we had drawn earlier or actually had been given to Dracula earlier, Trap. So we've kind of got her cornered here, and it's going to give us plus one to our uh, fight. Are there any other modifiers for Dracula? I believe that uh, Dracula always gets an additional plus one when he's fighting at night, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me take a quick look. I didn't see anything, so we'll go straight from the cards now. Plus one to each of their die rolls, so it's going to kind of even out. We have a six for Dracula and a one for Mina, so Dracula clearly wins. What we do now is we zoom in on the cards and we compare Pistol to the results over here. And we see that uh, Pistol is right there at the top. And 
it's in regular it's in a regular font that means the pistol is not destroyed if it's if something is in a uh, a different font here it means that that uh, particular weapon is destroyed so the pistol is still usable but uh, Mina suffers a bite and what does that do to her defeated hunters when a hunter is reduced to zero health or suffers a bite when he has no more empty bite boxes on the hunter sheet he is defeated and the following things occur Dracula advances his vampire track by two and if that brings it to six then uh, Dracula wins immediately the hunter is moved to the hospital and the hunter discards all item cards and event cards you only start with your basic tactics cards the hunter resets his health to its maximum and removes all bite tokens and the hunter loses the next turn as they recuperate so this is a an awesome victory here for Dracula because as we see on uh, Mina's character card she is already bitten she has no room for an additional token if we take a look at someone like Van Helsing he can take two bites so she was the right target to take out early here in the game she is considered defeated so we take her miniature and put it on Saint Joseph and Mary and we're gonna put uh, a green marker here in Prague so people know where Dracula is uh, I'll keep his figure there as well and then we get to make an exciting move here up at the top and advance the vampire track by two excellent uh, progress there the trap card goes into the discard pile and uh, we get to move on to the hunters next because Dracula's turn is over well Lord Godalming knows that uh, Dracula is in Prague and he's gonna try to get there as quickly as he can so he's going to attempt to take a train hopefully a speedy one and he found one uh, that's going to allow him to move three spaces one two three that's as close as he can get Dracula chose wisely here uh, attacking in Prague there was not a direct train there uh, along this line all right so the hunter is closer to Dracula but still not able to catch him yet so it's time to move on to the next hunter however uh, Lord Godalming does have a chance to uh, resupply here in the large city so let's check his inventory and see if he wants to draw any uh, new cards now he's got the knife and the rifle and the punch escape and dodge but uh, no event cards or anything like that in his hand um, probably what we'll do here is allow him to draw his third item card and draw an event card and, and see what he picks up so let's do that two cards randomly drawn one happens to be for Dracula so uh, this is called a false tip-off play this card when a, a hunter attempts to catch a train the hunter does not roll the train die instead he is automatically delayed over papers as if he had rolled the X the hunter may play a uh, chartered carriage card to cancel this card so I think this would even work against uh, Godalming's double rolling uh, I think yep sounds like uh, they don't even get to roll the die item um, a crucifix so he'll add that to his inventory so now Godalming has uh, three items one two three and uh, no event cards in his inventory so now we'll go to Dr. Seward Dr. Seward moves here to the uh, port and draws an event card and random draw is a hunter card let's see what it is hired scouts this is a play immediately card 
Name two cities on the map if those cities are in Dracula's trail or catacombs. Those locations and any encounter any encounters on them are immediately revealed. Revealed but not lost. So name two cities on the map that are in Dracula's trail or catacombs. This is kind of a hard one to uh, to play out solo. Maybe this is another card I probably would say wouldn't be such a good choice for the solo game. Let's draw another one. Uh, this one is a vampire card. Uh, evasion. You may immediately make an additional move. You may move, you may use this move to go to any city on the board. Any city on the board? Um, interesting. This says play immediately. So Dracula may immediately make a mo an additional move. You may make this move to go to any city on the board that does not contain a hunter regardless of the distance. If you move, you may place an encounter on your new location. And it says play immediately. So I assume that is right now. Uh, Dracula gets to move right away, I guess. Well, as, as I'm reading it, uh, Dracula gets to make a move here anywhere he wants. And I think I'm going to put him all the way down here in Athens. So let's put a marker there. Once again, Dracula's uh, figure we're going to put up on the track. <clears throat> and I think it said um, we get to place an, an encounter on the new location. So we'll choose one of those uh, to place now as well. Well, I think for the encounter, uh, I might choose one of these uh, minions again. They get a bonus to their attack rolls when they're, when they're in this uh, eastern part of the map. So we'll set them up in Athens there, and um, that worked out really great for Dracula because he was able to take out Mina. They knew exactly where he was, and then he just vanished. Cool. So uh, we'll keep going. That would that will end it for uh, Dr. Seward. Well, now the hunters kind of have to make their best guess uh, which way to go. We're to Van Helsing now and remember Van Helsing still has this uh, fog marker on his character card so what does that mean for him during his turn now well it just says that his turn ended the previous round and it remains in front of the hunter so when this token is on the hunter no other hunter may enter or leave the city that this hunter is in although Dracula can move through it freely. Hunters in a space with fog may still rest, resupply, or trade as normal. And then at the end of the turn, uh, they can discard this token. So it sounds like that in front of the hunter, no other hunter may enter or leave the city he is in. I'm assuming that Van Helsing cannot yet leave the city because uh, I'm guessing no hunter can leave the city until this token is removed but now he can spend a turn to rest and resupply if he wants to so let's let him uh, do that let's take a look at his inventory and see what he's got Van Helsing had the forewarned he's got holy water so one event card, one item card. He, he's in a good position to uh, to take some additional cards in his location. Uh, it is, however, a smaller city, so that means he's only going to get an event card. Let's draw one of those. All right, uh, consecrated ground. We take a consecrated ground marker and place it on any city on the board. If the marker is already on the board you may move it to an, uh, another uh, other city if you wish. If that city is Dracula's, if it's in his uh, trail or catacombs, it and any encounters on it are revealed. 
if Dracula is in the chosen city, he must leave that city on his next turn. I think this has something to do also... Maybe Dracula can't enter a city that is consecrated ground? Let me double check that. Yeah, I, I am finding I need to reference the rule book every now and then. Um, a consecrated ground marker means that uh, Dracula can never enter or move through that city, not even using its powers. So we get to take this concentrated ground and give the hunter a choice of uh, what city he's going to place it in. Well, how can we choose randomly which city is going to get this uh, token? Well, there are approximately, I think, 59 cities here uh, to choose from. So why don't we roll a, a d6? I got a 2, so we're going to go with a 20-something. And maybe let's uh, roll this minus 2. See what we get. 4, 5, 6. So 24 uh, Geneva. So we'll find that on the map. The good thing about this card is it puts a star right around the city so you can find it just a little faster. So that's where it's going to go. Uh, just a random choice. Dracula needs to stay out of there. So there you have it. One thing as we're coming back around, when Dracula got the bite result, uh, it says here that if he gets the bite result, combat ends and he escapes, just like he has used the uh, escape with a bat. And what you get to do there is um, you must move either one or two cities away by road. You cannot pass a heavenly host or consecrated ground marker, nor can you end in a city with a hunter. So we could have moved Dracula a couple of spaces away uh, at the end of that combat, but I wonder when moving in bat form, replace, replace the location card of the city you are currently in with the face down location card. Do not place an encounter. Okay, so do not place an encounter. So it may have added one more card to the track. So why don't we say Dracula may have uh, moved down here to Vienna and then uh, when that other card came up with uh, the escape where he could move anywhere on the board, he went down to Athens. So I think that'll set it right. So we'll put an extra location card down here just to say maybe he moved one space away. Honestly, I probably would have moved him two spaces away to get some distance between him and the other hunters. Uh, why don't we choose Budapest or something? Anyway, we just need to put that location card on the track and then we've already added Athens. So we'll fit it in uh, between Prague and Athens and I think that'll fix it. So Paris is going to fall off the trail. There's no encounter card on there so nothing special is going to happen but we'll remove this marker because that's no longer part of Dracula's trail. No, I just reread it one more time. It says replace when moving in bat form, replace the location card of the city you are currently in with the face down location card of the city you're moving to. So we need to replace Prague with the Budapest card. All right, so uh, <clears throat> Mina spends the rest of her turn unable to do anything except recover from her injuries and she will be back in the hunt uh, the next go around, but that's going to finish this entire round. As you can see, I'm a bit rusty on the rules and needed to reference the rule book from time to time, but Dracula is now down here in Athens. The hunters are quite far away, and we'll head into the next turn soon, so I hope you'll join me. Thanks for watching, everybody.